this is my empties for May, right? May 2019. Mm -hmm. Um, disclaimer, any supplements or medications, don't do dumb things. It's not our fault if you do dumb things. Ask your doctor before you take anything, obviously. And don't eat things you're allergic to just because I eat things I'm allergic to. Um, this is Trader Joe's Chocolate Brooklyn Babka. It's a sweet, rich pastry layered with chocolate. This was really, really good. Um, I saw everybody talking about this on Instagram. And we got one, and it was really, really good. I would definitely get this again. It's not something that I have to have around. But it was delicious, and I would definitely enjoy having it again. What about you? It was like a... Somewhere between a cake and a croissant, and I really liked it too. It had a bit of the chocolate bitterness, but not too much to improve <laughs> the experience. Bless you. Thank you. Mm. Um, we we'll got some more Trader Joe's stuff in here. Um, this is something else I saw on Instagram initially. They're Speculoos cookie butter ice cream. This was delicious. I like their cookie butter, but it's so thick, I don't really put it on sandwiches, so I never really know what to do with it, and it just kind of sits in the pantry. This is what to do with it. You buy this instead, and you eat it, and it's delicious. I'm allergic to milk, so I can only have a small amount at a time. But we finished this so quickly because somebody else really likes it, too. But this is good. I would totally get this again, and I think I need to put this on the grocery list. Stop. This is where you put in your thoughts. That was delicious. Um... I don't really know what to say. It kind of had that weird sort of buttery flavor that like peanut butter has. Um, it was like you could tell it was cooked, but it wasn't peanut butter flavor. I don't know how to describe it, but it was, it was delicious. So, yeah, buy it. We need to get some more of this the next time we go to Trader Joe's. And from the way it looked on the pictures on um, Instagram, I thought it was going to be like a little container, you know? No, this thing's like a full size, big as my head container. So. That's a quart. Um, a couple of River favorites from Trader Joe's that we already have more of. The uh, Crispy Crunchy bro Broccoli Florets. Is that how you say that? Mm -hmm. She loves these and will devour a bag in no time. I think we've gone through another one or two of these this month. Can you say broccoli? I only tossed one in. Bucky. Yeah, she loves these. And I'm pretty sure we have more. We have more, right? I hope so. I'm she, gonna... She found, somehow she got a hold of a bag of dried beets and poured them all over the floor. This is another one of her favorites, the Organic Honey Hedgehog Cookies. These are really good and sometimes I steal them from her. Can you but, say a cookie? Cookie? But because they're individually so packaged, I really like tossing cookie. them in her bag. Cookie. These are empty. I'm sorry, Daddy's torturing you. Do we have any more? I think we have more of these already. If we don't, I'm totally picking up more at the store because she loves these and they're hedgehogs. They're adorable. Did you have anything else to say about the broccoli or the hedgehogs? No. Okay. This is something for you to talk about. Um, the Equate Whey Protein Supplement in Smooth Vanilla. This stuff is delicious. <laughs> I don't know how good the protein is for, like, in comparison to many other brands other than I think it's... Optimum Fitness, that's uh, usually the gold standard for most people, which is, I guess, why they call it gold standard way on the bottle. Um, this is very, very good tasting, though. It's the best tasting protein shake I've ever had. Uh, 30 grams for two scoops. It's not too bad, and I think it's whey protein isolate, so you, uh, you get essentially the Ferrari of protein. You metabolize it very quickly, and it gets to work. Um, I've noticed since I started using it that my recovery was a bit better after a day at the gym, so I usually spend about 40 minutes to an hour lifting 5x5s uh, and mostly yeah. compound lifts, yeah. uh, and I go pretty go pretty heavy 90% of the time, so that, that stuff works really well. Equate is a Walmart brand if you guys aren't aware, and um, he's already bought in their container with this. Yeah, it's cheap. Like what, 14 for how much is in there? Not enough to fill 32.38 ounces. Oh, there you go. Um, 
Sweetie, that's dirty laundry. Stop trying to pull it out of the bathroom. Did you want to talk about my attempt at making you protein pancakes? <laughs> Mine were awful, but the ones she made for the kid were a lot better. Um, they were regular pancakes. Well, no, you said you made regular protein pancakes for her. They just turned out better. No, I made regular pancakes for her. I made you oh. protein pancakes. Oh, in that case, they were... They got burned because, uh, I guess you forgot how to use oil or something. Yeah, I had problems. My daddy. I was not awake. But Hi. the flavor was pretty good. So. Hi. You said it tasted like a vanilla Hi. and banana. Because it's yeah. banana mixed with protein powder. Yeah, yeah it's just a vanilla flavored banana. Hi. Okay, along with Weird. this protein powder, um, this is the Six Star Nutrition Creatine X3. He's already got another bottle of this, which these were... Um, green and the new bottle the pills are white and the new bottle is like a so much percent more for free same price more pills kind of bottle so it's a teensy bit bigger but I'll let you talk about these because you weren't gonna repurchase these at first yeah then I noticed my recovery started dropping after the uh, the bottle emptied and I was getting a lot more tired and I was gassing out at the gym and uh not having the motivation to like do my cardio or anything and uh i uh i got a new bottle and i started taking it again and uh i started to get it back pretty quick so um yeah creatine is the most studied uh, supplement in existence i think and it's uh if you take it in the morning and take it after you work out you tend to get the best benefit but it will give your muscles more energy um Improves your recovery, blah blah blah. Um, obviously, like she said, check with your doctor. Um, I am taking it again though, so it's helping me again. I'm not good at this on the spot stuff. These are Layla's. They're the Nature Made Biotin with three thousand micrograms. We've already bought more of these. We give these to our dog Layla. Um, she gets two most days um what are these what is this um, yummy who's ummy yummy yeah yummy yummy i get reminded Layla ummy yummy every morning so she takes the most days um see you're dumb i lock her out of the bathroom when i use it in the morning she follows me screaming ummy yummy Layla ummy yummy ummy yummy Layla ummy yummy until i give in to her um, anyway, I love my child, don't get me wrong. Anyway, we have really hard water here, and, um, it's really limey, and it dries Layla's nose out like crazy, and these do help quite a bit. So, we've already got another bottle, and Layla likes them. Layla! Did oh, you want to say anything about she's these? She's passed out? No. Um, I know we said about humans, but ask your vet before you do something like this, but... Layla likes them, they work for her. She's passed out. I took her on a long walk today. Um, I've got kind of got Such two of these. Such a lazy dog. These are the, um, In Coco Coconut Nail Art, um, nail strips. They're stickers for your nails made out of nail polish. These are in Lemon Drop. They're the ones I've actually got on my nails right now. I really like these and this design. I love this um, product. They're the only ones that really work on my nails. What are you doing? My hand is tired. Um, and I like this design. I'm not 100% if I would get the design again or not, but it is really pretty. Yeah, like I said, they're the, the yellow with the, um, the lemons on the accent nails. Um, my mom doesn't normally care. She has no interest in, like, anything remotely girly. And she thought these were so cool that she promptly showed my grandma my nails. And the baby. So, what do you think of this design? I think it's cool. It's cute. I wouldn't, like... I wouldn't go crazy about it. Yes. And then, this... Here, I'll take care of her. This... These are only available at Walmart, but these, which are the same things in a different package, are the Encoco Nail Polish Applique. You can get these other places too. 
Um, these ones were, um, if you can see, they were a red with a black lace over top. I really liked these. They were a really pretty color. It's the shade Royal Flush. If I ever see these again, I will definitely get that design again. Um, but overall, yeah, the Incoco either package, I really like them, and they're the only ones that work for my nails. Did you have anything to say about the red and black nail strips I used? Red and black are my two favorite colors, and they look just positively ravishing on you. He says red and black are his two favorite colors, and they look ravishing on me. Um... And you just take them off with nail polish remover. Honey, are you coming back? Because I can't pause this and we've still got some stuff to go through. I know. I'm just going to do something for her, but she's not caring. Okay. Um, this is the Bath and Body Works Shower Gel in Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, it has The notes are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. Um, we always keep Bath and Body Works shower gels around. We all three use them. And I love this smell. This is a smell that I will always repurchase. I have I keep a list of our favorite like definite repurchase Bath and Body Works scents so that when I shop the sale, which is the only time I buy them, that those are the ones I make sure to get. And this is on that list. Mm -hmm. I like it too. Alex loves Bath and Body Works soap. He's always sad when I have something else in the shower. Yeah, we, uh, that flavor always reminds me of your friend Elena. Yeah, this yeah. is one of her favorites. Yeah. Um, and do you want to talk about how you use this on the baby? Uh, yeah, I just put it on my hands and I scrub them all together a little bit and just. Our child gets very dirty. Yeah. Um, well, I don't think that's abnormal, so... She is a year and a half old. This is the Up and Up Basic Cotton Rounds. This Target brand. They're exactly what they say. I really like these. They work really well. And this is a three-pack. I've started buying the three-packs because then I don't have to buy them every single month. And they're just really nice. Do you have anything to say about this? No. I get them pretty much wherever I'm shopping, but I do a lot of shopping at Target, so they're frequently from Target. I already have another package of these as well. I think we have another bottle of Vanilla Bean Noel from a different year, but I'm not sure. But I know we have more Bath & Body Works, so we have um, Sensual Amber open in the shower right now. What is this thing doing? It's there. Um, oh, this was your toothbrush. It's the Oral-B Pro Health for me toothbrush it's soft this was alex's it was a toothbrush there's nothing really special about it this it worked a, um is this something you would buy uh this was given I wouldn't, to us i wouldn't go out of my way but um i wouldn't avoid purchasing it either it was just kind of a middle of the road toothbrush let's see um, I got a lot of these little card perfume samples from Sephora. This one was the Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc Eau de Toilette. Uh, this was way too perfumey for me, and I think I was allergic to it. Honey. Hmm. It's not ooh, it's o. Oh. E-A-U. E-O. -O. You're the French speaker, I'm not. I speak different languages. E -a -u. Anyway, did you have anything to oh. say about this? It means water. No. I would not I buy don't, this. I don't really like it. Yeah. I mean, it lives up to eau de toilette, which means toilet water, literally. Um, this one is the Tory Burch eau de parfum. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this one I was okay with, but it was really perfumey. Alex hated it, though. Oh, it smells like an elementary school teacher. Um... This one says it has notes of grapefruit, peony, and bitter. Definitely would not buy this one. The Tom Ford one says it has notes of vert de bergamot, orange bitter, ling ling, and pistachio. Let's see. I know I've got a couple more of those. Here we go. Um, this one was the Versace Bright Crystal. Um, notes of peony, magnolia, and musk. I like this one, but not enough to like buy it. 
Like, I liked it enough to enjoy a sample, but I would not buy it. It has a nice smell, but then it's like the undertone that's perfuming. That's not my thing. I can. I can. Uh, These I all smell can. better on you, too, except for that I last can. one. That it's just terrible always. This one, though, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Midnight. Um, oh. Notes of sparkling blood current and night blooming jasmine. Oh. I loved this one. This oh. one, um, it's oh. this one. This one I loved. Oh. Yeah. And oh. especially if I can find a small one, oh. I definitely want to get this one, which is uncommon for me. Uh, I killed foundation. Wet and Wild Mega Cushion Foundation in 106A Light Ivory. Um, I like this. It was I have combo oily skin. Keep that in mind. I like this. It was nice, but it wasn't so awesome that I need to buy it again. Um, that's pretty much all I had to say about that. I don't think you had anything to say about it. No. I'm going to put this on my lap so I can reach it better. Oh, and here's another one of these. How, how long it's going to be until I can eat? Soonish. Um, Mason... Margiela Replica Under the Lemon Trees Eau de Toilette. Uh, this one. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm not French. Okay. Neither am I. I like this okay, but it's not something that I would wear. Like, I like the scent, but it's not something I would wear. It made me think of my mother-in-law. Because Alex's mom... I think of her when I think of lemons because she likes lemon cookies and stuff like that. Um, Banana bread. Mm. Oh yeah, this is notes of lemon, lime, coriander, and musk. River, we're almost done. She's mad because she can't get in the bathroom. She's fine. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't buy that one. Did you have any opinions on it? No, not really. Oh yeah, I had this at the beginning of the month. Um, we found a new Asian grocery store. Here, oh, here I'm just gonna put her in my lap. Come on. Almost done, but River. Um. Oh. They have a great selection of ramen noodles there, and I've been on a bit of a kick. These ones are mushroom flavored. These are really good and not spicy. Um, so yeah, I um, not something I have to make a point to go out and get, but they were really good. Hey, baby. Oh, this was okay. another one. That's actually the same brand. I didn't realize that. These came in a little bowl. Um, these were like vegetarian ones. They were also pretty good, but I don't have to make a point to get the specific one. I just liked that one, and it wasn't spicy. Um, I remember the name of the place? Chow Fu Yen. Oh, the, the store? Yes. Well, yeah, but that's not helpful to anybody unless they live in St. Louis. Maybe some people do. Um, my pop socket died. Basically, the sticky just... It only has so many uses, and it could be in sticky. So I got a new one, and I'm fine with having to get a new one. Mama. Because the new one, you can change the design part. So Alex also got one. So that's that. River, stop. No, no, no. No, no. Um, Trader Joe's. My Cellar Cleanser Makeup Remover Towelettes. I love these. See, sushi roll. These are my favorite makeup wipes ever. Um, I've already got more of these. These are great. Do you have any opinions on these? No. Nah. Nothing I haven't stated before. Oh. Um, fresh soy face cleanser. I've used this before. It's nice. It's not amazing. I don't need to buy it. I like Alex make the decisions on our cleanser. Ew. So what are Ew. your opinions on this? Ew. No, it's okay. Don't need to buy it? No. Um, Twining's Earl Grey Tea. Good. Like it. Excuse me. Like it. Would buy it. Don't need it right now. I'm trying to get through these quickly, y'all. <coughs> Glade Cashmere Woods Wax Melts. I like these, but it's not something I have to go out and have. Go out and get. But... Oh, well, these not... are empty. Oh, man. Do I need to buy more of these? Nah, it's okay. I guess I'll buy okay. I'll buy so apparently Alex likes these a little bit more than I do, but they are nice. I, you guys are distracting, but I need you to help. 
Okay, this is a sample of the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask, the Detox and Brighten one. This wasn't nearly as drying as a lot of clay masks are on me. I did like it, but not enough that I need to buy the full size. Alex did say my skin looked noticeably nice after this, though. Down, yeah. down, down. Almost done. This is another one of River's favorite All snacks, done. the Trader Joe's Just Eats. Um, All my child Zod done. loves vegetables. It's great. She loves these. All but done. you have to be careful if they're drooly babies because it colors their drool and that stains their clothes. Gotta buy more of those if we don't already have them. Um... We, or if she gets one wet and drives it into the carpet. Yeah. We uh, killed a bottle of Tylenol. Sedaminophen off-brand. Uh, we don't go through Tylenol nearly as much as we do ibuprofen, so this was an accomplishment. Do we need to buy more of this? All done. All done. Okay. All done. I think we've got more time All here. done. I killed a All Soft Lips. Done. Um, this is a Hello Kitty one All in done. chocolate mint. Not a big fan of the chocolate mint. I like the Hello Kitty ones, though. Um... Yeah, it's flat, it's dead. I'm not digging it out. I love soft lips. The cubes are nice. Um, any kind of soft lips, though, it's my go-to lip balm. I love those. Um, okay, I have a pile of mascaras and some contact stuff. So, killed. Okay. A pair of contacts were old, so I'm tossing them and the container. I um, had doc eye doctor appointment. He told me that... This Optifree Pure Moist um, solution, I am probably having a reaction to, and that's why my contacts bother me so much. So, I'm, this has barely anything left in it. I'm tossing this, if anything. I'm tossing what's left of this. And I got a bottle of the clear care that everybody on YouTube talks about. That's what my optometrist recommended. I am almost done. I know. I've got to pick her back up because she's getting mad. Um, Bye-bye. And I tried that. I was waiting for my glasses when my new script to come in because my insurance doesn't cover contacts. So I still have my old contacts. Um, I tried that. It worked great, except I ripped one of my contacts, so I also tossed those. I have one more set, but they're not the right prescription anymore, so I'm donating those. Look that up. You can donate your River, old contacts. Stop. It's awesome. So, um... River, stop. This is gone. Uh, don't recommend this. Because he said it's really common to have reactions. Mama. And this is the yeah, Apple yeah. Free Moist Free Wedding Drops. Um, that's what I had before. Um, there's still plenty in here, but I'm tossing it because it goes with that. Mama. And I got something else. Um, down. No down. No, We're almost nice. done. Oh, down. No, not yet. Oh, I can't oh. think of what it's called. I don't see it down here. Um, it's like little bitty and it's in a green bottle. Anyway, those are the ones he gave me. If you really want to know, ask me and I'll dig it out of my bag. Okay, we finished this. This is the Body Shop Vineyard Peach Body Butter. My, so this was close to death and we finished it before it went bottle. off. Smells really good. Um, these yeah. tubs are great to reuse as well. It reminds me of crazy hands. So I don't know if I would rebuy this, but they are really nice. Alex, um, I would rebuy the Body Shop Body Butters. The peach is nice. I don't have to have it. I've got my, a big tub of the strawberry right now, which bottle. Alex is in love with. So I haven't smelled it since we first got together bottle. because he kept buying more my lotion bottle. so we couldn't use it. Okay, let me put this stuff in here. And then I have a pile of mascaras. Okay. I'm going to try to release her back into the hallway. Here. Um, I can't open these until I know. the camera. I know. So I have one, two, three, four, five mascaras here. <laughs> Someone needs a nap. And dinner. Okay, I'm going to go through these quick, quick, quick. First three that I only oh, used a couple times and I didn't really like. And I've had them forever, so I'm 
personally don't think I'm being wasteful. Mommy? I'm trying to convince my OCD of that anyway. Either. This is the Nuance by Salma Hayek Long and Lush Volumizing Mascara. I think this is even discontinued. Honey. Um, I liked this. It wasn't, like, amazing. It was just okay. I liked it, but it Mama? kept making my Mama? eyes feel weird. Hey. River, calm. I'm almost done. It kept making my eyes feel <laughs> That is the opposite of calm. And you're doing it on purpose. It kept making my eyes feel weird, and I couldn't find ingredients anywhere, so I'm kind of scared it had avocado oil in it, and that's a... River, you're pulling me out! Ow! Cross-reactive with latex, so I'm allergic to it, so I just tossed it. Okay. Oh, done. Oh, done. This one is Wet n' Wild Color Icon Color Mascara. Oh, done. Um... It's in purple, it didn't do anything to my lashes, and it didn't show any color on my lashes either. So, I tossed it. Um, I saved the wands and washed them because you can donate them to um, animal rescues and they use them to get like mice off of small animals and stuff. No. This one, no. This one is the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. I think this is supposed to be a bottom lash one. This is in black. Um, it might work for a bottom lash one. I don't use Mama. single bottom lash mascara. The wand is tiny, though. It was really natural, and it didn't do hardly anything for my eyes. So, it's gone. This one is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. A little mini. Um, I loved this. This was great. Um, but... I wouldn't pay hourglass price for it. So it was a great mascara. I loved having it. I would love having another one of these minis, but I wouldn't buy it because it's stupid expensive and it's it's great, but it's not that great, you know? Same thing for this one. This is the Smashbox Super Daddy, Fan Fanned Out Mascara. I loved this. Um, this was a great mascara. And if it was not Smashbox price, I would totally buy it. But I wouldn't spend that kind of money for it. It's awesome, but it's not yeah. that awesome, you know? So yeah. that is it. Yeah. I'm going to go take care of this little frog. Yeah. Questions, comments, opinions, let me know down below. Um, yeah. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.